the reincarnation and coronation of the king that never dies despite the errors or periods of gerontocracy and the Ogiso regime Benin kingdom is still arguably the oldest surviving kingdom and monarchy in the world the monarchy established between 11 and 1300 starting from the royal majesty of Ba Omononya, followed by our great king of Ba Ereka I of the dynasty before the great Bini empire this blessed kingdom survived the onslaught of the vagaries of turmoil during the era of the great Bini empire through the interference of a jealous British colonial masters that resulted in the rape, pillage, lootings, and criminal abductions and deportation of the great king of Ovorame. I am convinced that this great kingdom with its long human history of unique strength, wealth of culture and traditions, deserves to be put on the map of the world as one of the very few assets of the evolution of human civilization. Upon this conviction, I propose that His Royal Majesty, Uku Apolo Apolo, or Monoba Nedo, Oba Ewai II, to kindly use his royal prerogative to help us complete and redevelop the various institutions of this great kingdom so that we can approach UNESCO World Heritage, which seeks to encourage the identification, protection, and preservation of cultural and natural heritage around the world considered to be of outstanding value to humanity. The Benin Kingdom transcend national borders and that the culture, traditions and artifacts of this great kingdom has found its way around the world and can be experienced by anyone who visits any of the well-known museums of the world. If the Kingdom of Great Benin, with its diverse institutions, become a global heritage center, it will bring tourism and wealth not only to the peoples of Benin and also develop our lagging areas, but also to the Nigerian nation and all Africans in diaspora. This documentary will be one of the many steps to be taken in order to immortalize the early days, the many journeys to the ascension of the revered throne of the great Benin Kingdom by Oba Ewai II. The king that never dies, the king that never blinks his eyes or performs human activities, God's representative on earth, all Benin's at home and all over the world should contribute to Obaiwai's effort to bring back Benin's old glory. He alone who uses the bull cow, an elephant, leopard, eagle, poor father, etc. to make sacrifice to the God of his head, no other king on the face of the earth dares.